Welcome to Bhakti Sangha Japa Conference Call. We are extremely fortunate to have His Grace Prasannatma Prabhuji here with us today. And Prabhuji will be enlightening us by walking us through Srimad Bhagavatam 4.22.41 onwards. So, thank you so much Prabhuji. Tanvat Pranam. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, your valuable time and association this morning. Without further ado, I would like to hand over the call to you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Dandavatrana, Mahal Glories to all the assembled devotees. Uh, uh, so today our verse is uh, 41, um, fourth canto, 22nd chapter, 41st verse. Um, I would like to Advancement. 
the word atma gati refers to the thought of activities by which one can make progress in understanding krishna verse number 42 rajo vacha krutasne anugraha purvam harina aasapantina tam apadayitam brahman bhagavan guyam agataha translation so what to word meaning raja uvacha the king said krutha dam me unto me anugraha father's mercy purvam formerly harina by the supreme personality of god and lord vishnu atta anukamtina compassionate for persons in distress tam that aada apadayitam to confirm him brahmano brahman bhagavan o powerful one you yam all of you agata have arrived here translation the king said o brahmana o powerful one formerly lord vishnu showed me his causeless mercy indicating that you would come to my house and to confirm that blessing he shall all come offered by his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupa Uh, when Lord Vishnu appeared in the great arena of sacrifice, at that time when King Prithu was performing a great sacrifice of Purnaya Dhani, he predicted that the Kumaras would very soon come and advise the king. Therefore, Prithu Maharaj remembered the causeless mercy of the Lord and then welcomed the arrival of the Kumaras who were fulfilling the Lord's prediction. in other words when lord makes a prediction he fulfills that prediction through some of his devotees similarly lord was chaitanya mahaprabhu predicted that both his various names and the hare krishna maha mantra would be broadcast in all the towns and villages of the world shri bhakti vinod tapur and shri bhakti siddhanta satpati prabhu desired to fulfill this great prediction and we are following in their footsteps regarding his ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ಲೇರ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಕನ್ the lord himself promises and his confidential devotees execute the promise the lord makes so many promises for the benefit of suffering humanity although the lord is very compassionate upon suffering humanity human beings are generally not very anxious to serve him the relationship is something like the between the father and the son the father is always anxious for the welfare of the son even the son forgets the neglects the father the word anukamtina is significant the lord is so compassionate upon the living and the dead that he comes himself into the world in order to benefit fallen souls yada yada hi dharmasya grane bhavati bharata abhisthana madarnasya tadatmanam sujami whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice or descendant of bharata and the predominant rise of religion at that time i defend myself bhagavad gita 4.7 Thus, it is out of compassion that Lord appears in this uh, different forms. Lord Sri Krishna appeared on this planet out of compassion for fallen souls. Lord Buddha appeared out of compassion for killed animals who are being killed by the demons. Lord Narsimha appeared out of compassion for Kapilas Maharaj. The conclusion is that Lord is so compassionate upon the fallen souls. in the material world does he comes himself or sends his devotees and his servants to fulfill his desire to have all the fallen souls come back home back to godhead lord 
the Lord Sri Krishna instructed Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna for the benefit of the entire human society. Intelligent men should therefore seriously consider with this Krishna conscious movement and fully utilize the instructions of Bhagavad Gita as this without other preparation by his human devotees. Uh, ओम ज्ञान सिमरंदस्यांजन सलाकया चक्षुर्मृतमें तस्म श्री गुरवे नह श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप पदाम ददापिस्वपदाकित वंदेहम श्री गुरो श्रीयुत पदकमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश श्री रूपम साग्रजात सह गण रघुनादंदयित तम सजीव स अद्वैत स अवदूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादन श्री ललिता विषा संदयित हे कृष्ण कृणा सिंधो दीन बुंदो जगस्तते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांत तम नमोस्तुते सप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रिये वंचकल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य वचा पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते गौरवाणी नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमत भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारणे निर्देश शून्यवाद प्राचाचदेश तारणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्री वाचारी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डिस्कस श्रीमद भागवतम टुडे आई गेट ऑल ऑफ योर मर्सी एंड कंपैशन एंड ऑल द वैष्णव कंपैशन सो दैट आई कैन से फ्यू वर्ड्स टुडे so here uh, from verse 41 to 48 prithu maharaj praises uh, the kumara so the great sage maitreya continues being the enlightened in complete spiritual knowledge by the son of brahma that is sama kumara uh, one of the kumara who was complete in spiritual knowledge the king worshiped them in the following word so here uh, uh, the prithu maharaj is glorifying glorifying uh, kumara and uh, in this word atma nayadasa was a very important word and it is commented by sri pad vishnuna chakravarti tapu who says atmani unto lord krishna paramatmani uh, paramatma so therefore atma meghasa atma medha is one whose mind is acting fully in krishna consciousness so bruha medha tela prapa wrote this word bruha medha uh, means one whose brain is always engrossed with thoughts of material activity if you see 99% of population in the world bruha medha they are always brain engaged in material activity maya of krishna is very 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 powerful it doesn't let you 
B at the at the lotus feet of Lord Krishna all the time like Atma Nada. So that's why so Kumaras are very special because they do not have any family. They never married, uh, and there, they have nothing to do except, you know, their mind always, brain always engaged in Krishna conscious activity. So, Atma Madhusa is very, very important word in this uh, world. And uh, the good thing is people who are like Atma Madhusa, if you engage with them, what happens is you will get the spiritual advancement. So Atma Gati refers to the path of activities by which one can make progress in understanding Krishna. So people who are Atma Meda, like the, you know, Srila Prabhupada, by following the instructions of Srila Prabhupada, path of activities by which one can progress in understanding Krishna. By being Grahasta, Grahasta is good, Grahamayadi is not good. Grahamayadi means always selfish and delirious. Grahasta means keeping Krishna in the center. And the next phase is Atma Mayadasa, means always keeping Krishna in the center. So that is the gist of this meaning. Somehow, no matter what, people try to pull us down. Uh, either, either at work or at home or at, you know, that's how Maya designed this whole world to, to, to test the spirit soul, whether they are sincere and serious about Krishna consciousness. So, uh, being Atma Madhasa is our topmost target to achieve Krishna consciousness. And text 42, now here Prudhu Maharaj is saying, Oh Brahmana, O oh powerful one, formerly Lord Vishnu showed me his causeless mercy, indicating that you would come to me, to my house, and to consume that blessing uh, you have all come. So in the purport, when Prithu Maharaj was doing uh, sacrifice, Aswamyada Yaga, he predicted that Kumaras would very soon come and advise the king. So, Prithu Maharaj remembered the causeless mercy of the Lord and the welcomed the arrival of Kumaras who were fulfilling the Lord's prediction. So if a holy person comes into our life or we get in touch with holy person like Sela Prabhupada or any of the exalted devotees, that is Krishna's mercy. Sometimes Krishna doesn't come himself, but he sends his devotees. So we always should have a spiritual vision to see the mercy of Krishna. By materialize, you know, what is special about these people? To materialize their old, their hand, their, they could, you know, there is nothing different. But if you have a spiritual vision, you appreciate how special these people, those people are sent by Krishna himself. See the example of Srila Prabhupada, he is five feet, some inches tall, but uh, imagine what he did. Around Srila Prabhupada, everybody is like six feet, seven feet tall, and everybody is dancing just by the rise of his eyebrow. And today, uh, Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada is influencing all of our thoughts thought through his book. So, this is causeless mercy of Lord Krishna. 
तो लॉर्ड फुलफिल्स द प्रोडिक्शन थ्रू हिज डिवोटी इन द सेम वे एंड चैतन्य महाप्रभु प्रेडिक्टेड हिज होली नेम विल बी स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती प्रभुपाल एंड आवर डियर ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाल दे ऑल फुलफिल दिस ग्रेट प्रोडिक्शन एंड इन भगवत गीता नाइन पॉइंट थ्री वन वी ऑल हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस वर्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट औंतया प्रति जाना ही नमे भक्तिया प्रणश्यती means o sanna punti declare it boldly that my devotee will never perish see in material world there is no word like never 100% guarantee only people can guarantee 99.9% that to they fail many times but krishna here he guarantees my devotee will never perish and if krishna promises it would be 100% and here the prophet wrote very important point all the lord is very compassionate upon suffering humanity human beings are generally not very anxious to serve him so that is the whole problem right why lord has to leave goloka brindavan and come to planet earth and play like a ordinary cowherd boy uh, in india in brindavan giri govardhan the only reason is to give unlimited compassion upon suffering humanity see namami swaram tachi danam darupam lasa kundalam gopule brajamanam esho dhaviya luha vadavamanam param rishtamacham ta dushya gokya why supreme personality of godhead namami swaram tachi dananda rupa has to leave goloka vrindavan that is chinta mani prakara sadma sukalpa vruksha laksha avrutesh suragi abipalayantam लक्ष्मी सहस्र सतसंभ्रम सेव्यम गोविंद भजामि प्रकर सदमसु कल्प वृक्ष तो इन गोलोक वृंदावन लॉर्ड कृष्ण हाउस इज फिल्ड विथ चिंतामणि स्टोन वन चिंतामणि स्टोन विल फुलफिल एनी डिजाइड व्हाट यू हैव and krishna house is built with chintamani stone kalpa vruksha indra has only one kalpa vruksha right and for that there is lot of fighting and krishna house in goloka vrindavan has unlimited of kalpa vruksha and everybody is running for lakshmi so whatever we do in life 99.99999 percentage of people everything is related to lakshmi whether we move to different country whether we work so hard it is all about lakshmi but in goloka vrindavan lakshmi sahasra satasambrama seviyaman not one lakshmi lakshmi sahasra thousand 
Tata 100 with great excitement, great happiness, running behind Krishna to serve Krishna. Imagine Krishna is in that situation and on top of the Lakshmi there is Srimati Radharani who is the topmost person and unlimited gopis and gopas. They are experts in singing, dancing, you name it, cooking. Each gopi can sing so many, uh, so many ragas, salas, and play so many instruments, sing so beautifully. And their singing is nothing. You know, our singing is nothing when compared to any of the gopi. And forget about Srimad Radharani. And Krishna left all of that and come here as a small boy. Lakshat Kundale Nama Vishwaram Sakti Dhananda Rupam and that Satchidananda Rupa came to Goloka, from Goloka Vrindavan to our Vrindavan near Delhi, Madura. And that small boy started stealing butter. And you know, people are chasing behind Krishna. And Krishna is eating food from the plates of uh, his friends. And the gopis are teasing Krishna, and sometimes Krishna is crying. And uh, sometimes even imagine uh, to obtain Krishna, to even see Krishna, people have to meditate hundreds of thousands of years like yogis who have to stop breathing and meditate and not eat. And in spite of that, it's impossible to even see Krishna's small toes light. And even Brahma, Indra, or any of these, even Arjuna, they are all bewildered and unable to understand who Krishna is until Krishna gives unlimited mercy. Compassion. The reason why I am saying all this background is the only purpose why Krishna came to planet Earth is out of compassion for fallen souls. Fallen souls are so fallen that yes, Krishna can come and just give Bhagavad Gita and can leave. But the Bhagavad Gita is at such a high level, right? But if Krishna starts stealing, at least if people say, people always talk about news, right? Stealing and this and that. So, even by saying, Sankhya Parihasyam Vat Taugam Kalanam, even if you utter the word Krishna or Rama by Sankhya by pointing out, oh, that is Krishna Nagar, Parihasyam by comedy, Saugam, Halanam, uh, by ridiculing. Still, if you say Krishna, you will get credit. So, in Kaliuga, people's mind is so fallen. So, if uh, Bala Krishna, if he steals, people's hearts are, the rock like hearts start melting. And even if, even if they don't melt, it's like, you know, few children, if they do mischievous things out of, out of uh, you know, this jubilation, we just say, oh, this small little Krishna, he always steals things. And he, we get credit. So the only purpose Krishna came to the planet Earth is to give compassion, mercy to the fallen soul. Lord Buddha appeared out of compassion for the poor animals who were being killed by the demons. 
So here Sri Lankarappa said, Lord Buddha came because to give compassion to you for poor animals. See, in modern world, how badly we treat animals. In the sense, you know, all this big industry. So I live in Omaha, Nebraska. The state tagline is the beef state. So if you travel, you know, seven hours uh, towards west or anywhere, you know, the the the, the fields are filled with with cattle. So the Buddha, Lord Buddha's appearance is he felt to give compassion to the poor animals. So that's why he said Ahimsa, never kill animals. So each avatara has its purpose, but if you see the purpose, it's all about compassion. Lord Nasimha Dev appeared out of compassion for Prakalad Maharaj. The conclusion is that Lord is so compassionate upon the fallen souls within the material world that he comes himself or sends his devotees and his servants to fulfill his desire to have all the fallen souls come back to Godhead, back home, back to Godhead. So, what is the desire of Lord Krishna? Come back, come home to Godhead. Imagine our children, they miss home or they, they left home and how worried parents are, right? And we are sleepless until they come back home, back to Godhead. So in the same way, Krishna is very anxious to see all of his children to come back, back to home from this Maya. That is our ultimate goal. The Lord Krishna instructed Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna for the benefit of entire human society. And Sri uh, uh, Prabhupada concludes that intelligent man should therefore seriously consider this Krishna consciousness movement and fully utilize the instructions of Bhagavad Gita as preached without adulteration by his pure devotees. So people who are intelligent should read Bhagavad Gita and preached without adulteration by his, uh, by his pure devotees. So we shouldn't concoct with our own thoughts. It should be very few. So the whole topic here is compassion and mercy. And as Vaishnavas, we always beg for compassion and mercy. Uh, recently, I started reading this beautiful book, Compassion Only. I'm just taking a, you know, a leadership course as part of my work. Uh, compassion is very powerful. Uh, it's just not for uh, just not for uh, uh, Vaishnavas, but even in general, our dealings. Uh, I started saying the word compassion hundred times a day, even though you know we can't and stuff like that. Uh, still there is all these uh, demons inside our, at least in my mind or in my heart, Kama, Krodha, Madha, Masteria, Ego, False Ego, uh, uh, Lust, Anger, Greed. And at least I realize myself I am imperfect uh, and uh, struggle, struggle at various levels. But in spite of that, I always say the most important thing is being compassionate to ourselves and give compassion to every human being. At least if we use the word compassion, mercy, you know, fake it till you make it, 
that showing tremendous effect even family dealing uh, sometimes the devotee say oh my uh, family members not following krishna consciousness or at work there is always some conflict fighting uh, or whatever uh, material world is always a problem no matter what you do the ripples of maya will affect 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 so the best thing at least i understood is actually chanting is giving compassion to ourselves and giving compassion to other people so we are chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare by doing that actually we are compassionate on ourselves means your mind is in krishna consciousness that is the ultimate goal if we don't do that we are not compassionate on ourselves right our mind is in brahmaneti so that all the spiritual activities when pram gaur mother ji called me two days back you know or one day back uh, prabhu can you give the class so whenever i say yes to any spiritual activity it is for my upliftment and also the compassion out of all the things i do in my whole life i really the only thing i enjoy maybe is shrimad bhagavatam especially discussing with all of you so that i learn and even touch shrimad bhagavatam that is a compassion uh to myself so this word compassion if you start using i don't know in material or at least i feel like we use so many words we use we deal with deal uh in a different way again you know sorry i am just coming out from goloka of vrindavan to material world because our dealing with every human being is so important so i saw a big change at least in myself that you know every no matter what anybody does to me any human being anyone how much bad how much what it is in spite of that i always at least say 24 hours whenever i remember the word compassion i will give compassion mercy and love to each and every human being that is showing so much good benefit on me that compassion may be by saying good words to the hari krishna mahamantra or that compassion may be not being angry that compassion may be not being jealous that compassion may be you know uh so anyways uh, that's what i'm practicing but uh, it's so nice that there are prabhupad wrote about compassion the whole paragraph on the whole theme of 40 second verse is compassion so uh, who else is more compassionate than sir prabhupad param dukha dukhi he is to cry whenever you know a, a devotee who left the mission and leave he used to cry he came all the way from india to america to write all his books today we are reading shrimad bhagavatam and we are extremely happy and uh, you know uh, moving forward in our spiritual lives is compassion of uh, sri prabhupa uh, you know and mercy of sri prabhupa so thank you so much uh, for giving this opportunity to me and i beg uh, uh, and pray to all of our lotus feet so please give all the vaishnava compassion and mercy and shower on both of us myself and my wife ratnavali sakhi dasi uh, so that we will uh, you know move ahead in our spiritual life 
uh, and uh, assist in the mission of cell of Prabhupada in a, like a small sand particle or dust particle. So, uh, any questions, comments? Um, thank you so much for giving this opportunity. Hare Krishna Prabhu, this is Gandhava. This is Damodar Ananda Das from Bloomington, Illinois. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Gandhava Pranam. It's very nice to hear your voice, uh, you know. You always connect to the class and you are a great example to, you know, at least uh, I, I, for me. Prabhuji, that's very nice of you, but I didn't get a chance to hear your class. Uh, Prabhuji, your lecture is always very uplifting for me. I still remember when you spoke about Keval Ashtakam, you introduced me to Keval Ashtakam. And now every day, almost every day, I sing Keval Ashtakam. My question or my comment is, you know, you said Krishna is very anxious for us to come back home like a father whose children have left home. Uh, Krishna can do anything, so what stops him from calling us back to is it because the rules he has set in this Vishni or it is because of our uh, own ego that we left his abode in the first place and then he wants us to come back on our own. The other observation I made, you know, in uh, childhood and even in adulthood, uh, many times from other older people, that they always tell, Ki Bhagawan hame bulalo, you know, meaning call us back, which actually meant, you know, never understood the correct meaning of calling back, God calling back uh, us, back to Him, till, you know, we connected with Prabhupada. Also, you know, in, in my mother tongue is Punjabi, so in Punjabi there is a saying, I, I don't know if anybody tells this Punjabi on this group, he, Bhagavan Manu Chakla, I mean, you know, they call out to the God and lift me up. <laughs> Again, without realizing what it actually means, it usually meant that, you know, let me die. So I just wanted to share this with you. Thank you, Prabhuji, very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, such a great comment, uh, you know, uh, going back to Godhead means here in 41 verse, uh, I mean, somehow we have to become Atma Medasa, means always thinking about Krishna and willing to serve Krishna. So always in life, the biggest example is is Sela Prabhupada, the role model. I mean, we cannot be like Sela Prabhupada, but even if we do like maybe one ten thousand of Sela Prabhupada, that purity, he left family, he left children, grandchildren. I mean, like we don't need to leave all of this, but I'm just telling that Atma Madasa means his thoughts, his brain has single pointed agenda. The whole world is suffering. The whole world is suffering very badly. And his Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, maybe one time or two times told him, go to West and preach. Share this knowledge. And Srila Prabhupada is unlimited compassion. Two heart attacks. Imagine we get headache, we run to ER. If our kid gets small little fever, we run to ER. And this personality, two had a heart attack, stroke, unwavering faith. So, you know, uh, everything he did is for Krishna. Everything. Srila Prabhupada, what he did is for Krishna. So, uh, And also, uh, because of his mercy, I am able to speak with all of you. Imagine if Srila Prabhupada never came to America, there is no phone call, there is no discussion, and having an excellent association with wonderful Vaishnavas, 
this is only only possible because of the mercy and compassion of sela prabhupada so in our development at least you know every 10 years we have to check hey where we started and how far i came in this in this journey and after 10 years okay where was i and how far i came in this journey so eventually hey you know some people like prahlad maharaj and dro maharaj they are like realized you know that is all uh, ajata sukriti means their previous pious credit but most of us it takes time but always if we move in that good direction that's good and uh, krishna is unlimitedly compassionate and sela prapad is compassionate and uh, prepar sela prapad in his lecture said i even say krishna if you take one step forward i will take 99 step so that is the compassion of uh, krishna but uh, thank you so much for reminding me kavalastakam again today uh, so let me sing one small uh, from kavalastakam abrahma stamba paryantam sarvam maya mayam jagat satyam satyam punas satyam harir name eva kevalam abrahma stamba paryantam from brahma to small ant the whole, everything in this whole world is sarva maya maya jagat everything is maya period there is only in uh, any time in vedic version if they say two times right harir nama harir nama harir nama eva kavalam if it they say harir nama harir nama two times that is like a stamp means that is so authentic now here they say satyam satyam punas satyam harin naam eva kavalam this is only one truth one truth one truth that is holy name that is holy name that is holy name so this is from kavalastaka and the other thing is uh, uh, you know maduram madure byopi mangalam mangale byopi pavanam pavane byopi harir name eva kevalam so sweetest of the sweetest is holy name mangalam means auspicious auspicious of the auspiciousness pavanam pavane byopi purifying of the purifying what else we need sweet auspicious and purifying harir naam eva kevalam only the holy name only the holy name only the holy name so yeah when we say word compassion you know remembering the kavalastakam and realizing one more time to at least my rock like heart that you know chanting is very important that is compassionate for myself and also sharing that uh is compassion uh, you know the theme of today's class is compassion so anyways such a great comment and uh, thank you so much thank you thank you any other comments hari krishna prabhu ji dhanwat pranam aur guru shri prabhupad anirudh always prabhu ji your class is very practical and very inspiring thank you very much for your association hare naam hare naam hare naam ai kevalam hari bol hari krishna thank you thank you so much uh, hari krishna prabhu ji dandu pranam on to sri sri prabhu prad guru maharaj a very very beautiful class as mata ji said i would like to agree that definitely the class is so inspiring always look forward to it uh, one quick question prabhu ji if you have time yes please yes please mata ji yeah. yeah uh, i know when you were mentioning during a lecture you said um, about uh, uh, lakshmi lakshmi ji uh, you were talk- saying that uh, uh, she is there in uh, uh, golak vrindavan and like uh, running after krishna wanting to serve krishna but as we know from the past times that lakshmi was not allowed 
uh, in the Ras Leela. So I was wondering, she was she'll be there in the only Vishnu Loka, or she will be there in the in the in the Golak Vrindavan too. Uh, so kind of, could you clarify on that past time? Because there it was mentioned, right? That she, because she in the uh, she uh, worships Krishna in the uh, in the bhav of awe and reverence. So that is the reason why uh, she wouldn't be uh, uh, able to enter the Golak Vrindavan. Such an excellent question. Uh, any senior devotees on the conference call want to share on this beautiful question? Any devotees want to share, comment? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, I am not senior, I am very much junior. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> is it okay? Can I say something? Please, please, please. Yes, sir. I have heard that Prabhupada had said that the Lakshmi Sahasrasutta Sambrama Sevyamanam. So there are all these gopis are Lakshmi's. That's what he's saying. The Lakshmi, they are all the gopis are Lakshmi's and they are serving Krishna. Goloka, they are gopis. They are all serving. And they are very, very opulent. So that's why they are called Lakshmi's. Hare Krishna. Thank you wow. so much for sharing. Uh, actually, uh, there is in one of the purports, Srila Prabhupada wrote the same thing also uh, 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 about uh, how the gopis, when, uh, you know, uh, uh, they are searching for the topmost devotees in the whole world, uh, they went to many, 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 many uh, devotees like uh, Hanuman, Prahlad, uh, you name it, Shiva, Brahma, and in that chain, even Parvati, Lakshmi, uh, and when they are going and finding the topmost devotees, uh, just below Srimati Radharani, gopis. So, out of all the gopis, Radharani. So, th all the gopis, even though they are gopis, they have all the attributes of Lakshmi, and even more than Lakshmi Devi. So, yeah, Srila Prabhupada wrote, also he shared in uh, the lectures, but thank you so much. You know, if it comes from the lips of, uh, you know, Vaishnavas, uh, it's always nice to hear. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that, Mataji. Thank you, Prabhuji, for appreciating Hare Krishna. I'm not so much Vaishnava, but I have heard this one. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Prabhuji. Also, uh, Lakshmi Ji, who worships Krishna in the Ashwarya Bhav, is allowed in the Golok, but she is not able to enter the Ras Leela. That's the only place where she cannot enter. And Lakshmi is also expansion of Srimati Radharani, as of the gopis and others. That's my understanding, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for asking that question. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dhanavat Pranam. Very, very beautiful class, Prabhuji. Thank you so much for your attention. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Uh, Prabhuji, I have a question, but it's not related to the class a little bit, but uh, still uh, kind of little technical. Yeah, please, one you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Uh, like, I know that, like, you have the ten incarnations of Krishna, right? We have all the ten incarnations we talk about. Now, I was trying to understand that in our time span, which we talk about yoga. So, all that, like, you know, we have, like, we, um, like, in the form of Brahma, there are, he's got hundred, he lives for hundred years, which is not obviously according to us, right? The each day of Brahma has those 14 Manus, and we are in the seventh Manu, and the 26, six. 26, 28 cycle, I think, right? Of the 72 yugas, uh, of the 72 cycles. So that I understand. Now what I'm trying to understand is, and then Krishna appears only once um, in the 
this 28 cycle, right? Of this one day of Brahma, he's coming only once uh, in that twin, uh, in the seventh Manu of the 28th cycle, right? Now, mm -hmm. what about the other other incarnations of Krishna, right? Like uh, Ram and others. So uh, now, now next, now when this day will get over, right? After all this uh, day gets over, then the night will come. Everything will go in in the Vishnu, Mahavishnu. Now the next day when it comes, now again all those ten incarnations will take place. Like because Krishna will come again, right? And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again will come in Kali Yuga. So I'm trying to understand those other incarnations of Krishna. Then again they will appear in every day of Brahma. Does that work like this, or uh, am, I, am I incorrect in my understanding? So, uh, as per I had, uh, you know, as per my hearing, what I had is, uh, uh, you know, the universe is unlimited. Uh, uh, the universe is unlimited. So every the incarnations of Krishna, they comes wherever there is. Uh, today we discussed even right. Uh, as per the time, need and circumstances, the incarnation of Krishna happens. So, to answer your question, yes. Still, right now, Lord Narsingadev's incarnation is happening somewhere. So, these incarnations, uh, if you see this verse, avatara he asankya he. We only think ten incarnations, but uh, you know when you see this verse, one point three point twenty eight. Ete cha amsa kala pumsa Krishna tu Bhagwan swayam. And in the first canto, third chapter, they start discussing about many incarnations. And out of all the incarnations, Krishna to Bhagavan Swayam. But just before uh, Srila Prabhupada said that is the emperor verse of whole Srimad Bhagavatam. But before that, 28 is this verse, 26. Avatarahi asankyaha. Avataras are asankyaha, unlimited. Just like when you see the river how many branches it will take, sub, subdivision, subdivision, subdivision. The avataras are like unlimited. We cannot conceive because all these avataras are happening in different planets, different universes, different galaxies, different solar systems. So the authenticity, if you want to read a little bit more, it's 1.3.26 onwards. Uh, but the whole chapter is about unlimited incarnations. So to answer your question, yes, uh, the uh, avatars are happening, uh, not only just in Bharata Varsha, but as I said, many galaxies, many, as we know, uh, so far the discovered universe by human intelligence is in our house, if you put a dot on wall, that is the discovered universe. But there is unlimited universe. Still, scientists are trying hard to discover. So to answer, yes, the incarnations are happening in all those universes based on their, uh, you know, adharma. Wherever, yada yada hi dharma, wherever there is a problem with dharma, I will come and help. That help can happen not only through ten incarnations. The incarnations are unlimited. So that is my understanding. But if any Vaishnavas want to add, uh, you know, please uh, feel free to add. Thank you, Prabhuji. Yeah. So in unlimited incarnations. So it's yes, not unlimited incarnations. Incarnation. So ten uh, incarnations is only according to what we know. But this, there are so many which we don't know. Am I correct? That way we can think. Yep. If you want to read first canto, third chapter, it's a beautiful chapter. Uh, okay. They talk about the whole incarnations and uh, and one of the very, very important chapters. First canto, third chapter. So the whole chapter is about incarnation. Thank you, Dhanji.
Any questions? Any more comments? Thank you, Prabhuji, for such a wonderful class today. Now it was indeed very, very, very nice class. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. By speaking with all of you, my heart is very jubilant, and I am very, very happy uh, because of Vaishnavas discussing with Vaishnavas. Anybody has any more questions for Prabhuji? Thank you, Prabhuji, for a very nice class. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All glories to Sela Prabhupada. All glories to Sela Prabhupada. Once again, Prabhuji, thank you so much. And we are really grateful to you. And look forward to having your association again in future. As uh, we don't have any more questions, we would like to um, wrap up the call here. Vancha Kalkarubhyasya, Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha, Patita Nam Pavanim Pyo, Vaishnavi Pyo, Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Srimad Bhagavad Ki Jai, His Great Pratanatma Prabhuji Ki Jai. Jai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.